Welcome to a, well, I, I was about to say a special episode, but it's not really special. It's always special when we launch a brand new case, which is always a lot of fun. So it's always cool when a stream day aligns with a, 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 a case launch day. So it's always really good. So what is going on, everybody? Welcome to uh, the Thursday edition of Roby Tech. Today, we are going to be checking out the brand new uh, NZXT H9. We already did a very, very unique video on this. Um, and so uh, we already did a, re a unique video. It was the first of a series. They're called the Let's Build series. Uh, so we already did the H9 Elite. We have thermals for that. Today we're going to be putting the exact same build inside of the H9 Flow. And then we're going to essentially see um, how the two perform and what the difference in delta is, um, which would be super cool. Um, the big thing is, guys, is just um, I would love Love, love to see people support for the new, uh, the new video series that we've just launched. Uh, it's a brand new type of video. Would love to get you guys feedback. I threw it in Discord, um, and uh, it's been it's been growing steadily, which is always good. It's over on the main channel. We've, we've started putting uh, regular VOD stuff over on the main channel, so we can get a link to that. Uh, that would be super cool just to get you guys to go and give it a watch. Let me know what you guys think, what we can change to make them better. So um, I, I'm, I'm super stoked to basically be able to do stuff like this, and it's, it's really cool to actually have everybody here today. Um, I know people are going to have some questions, obviously, because not only did we have the NZXT H9 launch today, but we also had the brand new 13900 KS and the KS we have been working on um, it's funny because what we did is we went down to Vegas um, and when we were in Vegas we did a uh, we overclocked a KS so that's what I wasn't allowed to tell you um, we actually oh I'm like hitting the wrong button we overclocked the 13900 KS in an ice bar in Las Vegas um, so we actually have had quite a bit of experience with um, with the actual CPU and so we're definitely going to have some thoughts on that as well um, to make sure. What's up, Najee? It's good to see you. Um, to make sure you guys just kind of understand if that's something you're also interested in. So we're going to cover the new case. Uh, we're going to basically do a build. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and talk about the 13900KS. Today is an AMD build, though. It's not, a K, it's not an Intel build, which is kind of funny. But again, we want to make sure we use the same build so we can do an apples-to-apples -apples comparison. Uh, hey, Roby, how you doing today? Love the detail in the video. How come you shifted back to putting video content live channel? Which way did you vote in the Creators Challenge tonight? Okay, that's those are great questions. Um, so uh, there was an algorithm change uh, for YouTube that is taking effect in February that is supposed to fix um, our biggest issue with the algorithm, which was where uh, it was it was basically hamstringing VOD content on a channel that is predominantly live content. So through February with this launch of the new short stuff, we're gonna see if it actually fixes it so we can just go to a single central place for people to watch, though the tech news will continue to appear on the regular Roby Tech channel. So um, that's that's what we did there. Uh, in terms of who I voted for, um, the team, that the person, that, the, the team I actually, uh, it was really hard for me to choose, but I chose between uh, uh, Liquid House and with um, GGF and PC Works were the two, uh, my two top uh, options. Um, it's one of those things that's really hard when you're doing a judging on a live show. But if I was, if I chose the winner, the one that I had actually chosen was uh, Tim's from PC Works and GGF. A couple reasons. One, um, even though Liquid had those incredible fat radiators, the fan had the fan stuff that he had for it. I, I where he won. I both had them same in terms of their overall creativity because I loved Liquid's design. I also loved Tim's design. But honestly, Tim and Stuart just did a better job in terms of using uh, the cooling capacity better. As much as I loved John's uh, dual pump thing, the fact that he had slower fans on really fat radiators uh, was an under it was would have underperformed in terms of a cooling standpoint. So when I thought about the KS and what you needed to basically nail the KS, that was where my thing went. It's funny because I actually think as much as I loved Ron's design, I will tell you Ron's. If you were to do a true test on it, it would thermal throttle with a 13900KS. That's the two, those two, a 360 and a 240 uh, with a water cooled um, with a water cooled uh, GPU is not enough cooling capacity for a 13900KS. In fact, you cannot. We are pretty sure uh, from the testing we've essentially done, you cannot cool a 13900KS 
with a 360 millimeter AIO. Uh, unless you do something like turn off everything that's basically performance enhancement and potentially run it at stock at 250 watts. If you use it stock with any MOBO, um, a 360 millimeter AIO is not enough. And in, even in some regards, we've seen a 420 millimeter AIO is barely enough and only if you have the best fans. In fact, we are going to be doing a build uh, next week uh, in partnership with Corsair and with uh, Gigabyte um, to actually build an optimally built AIO um, course uh, 13900KS build just so we can show you what it does. But it is an enthusiast CPU. It is for people who really want to build something that is top tier and top notch um, and really does a good job of roping in and handling uh, that build. The build that we have from Liquid House, which we're going to show off next week, um, which is the one we used in the ice bar, we have two 360 millimeter AIOs with T30 fans, and then that will run it at stock in the 80s. So, but it is a very, very fully built optimized machine for the KS. So very, very crazy. Uh, yeah. The T, uh, so the uh, org, the T30s will not cool it on a 360. We've already tested that. So it's not even, even on a 360, it's not enough. You need, you do need, I think in this case, you do need a full loop with multiple rads to really do a good job of cooling that CPU. So it is, it's, I, I mean, I like when we do our review, like we're going to basically do what you need to do it. And it's, it's not, yeah, it's, it's uh, it's a B, it's a hot CPU. It's a hot CPU. They got six gigahertz. They got six gigahertz, but it's not thing. Uh, what's a great PSU to buy with a thousand watts? Um, you could check out the new one we're going to have today. The C1200 uh, is a great option. It just came out from NZXT. Uh, Be quiet. Dark Pro. The Dark Pro Three. Uh, Dark. I think it's the Dark Pro Three is another good option. Uh, any of the one thousand watts from Corsair is good. Uh, uh, and then uh, so there's a there's a, actually a tiering structure that we can get you a link from. Ask in Discord and they can get you the link for that stuff. Do you, I saw you use the NZX T120. You think, no, a T120 cannot cool a 7900X. A T120 cannot cool. It's really funny because I was watching, um, obviously, uh, I was watching uh, one of the new kind of uh, uh, hit dudes, uh, Mr. Matt Lee, and he put a T120 on a 7700X, and a T120 wouldn't cool that either, um, unless you basically set it to the air-cooled mode. But T120s are not, the T120 is barely able to do a 13.6. Uh, and anything lower than that. So a 7600X would probably be at the top end of a T120. 7900X, you cannot air cool. And in fact, AMD says don't air cool it. So yeah, that is all the stuff going on there. I kind of went into it. So requirements is either at least a 420, 20, 420 millimeter rad or a full custom loop. Yes, DJ Techno, I would say that is absolutely true. Now for gaming, if you're just gonna game on it, then you're gonna be fine. We're actually gonna test and have gaming temperatures for it. So if you're just gonna use it to game and that's all you're doing with it, but if you're gonna do anything strenuous, like we did blender testing it, basically thermal, thermal throttled on, a, on an H170i with ML120 Elites, that is a dang good AIO with really good fans. Um, and so, uh, yeah, yeah, it is, it, is, it, is not a, it is not a CPU for the faint of heart. <clears throat> uh, these, so Legacy Swerve asks, are these 011s? These have better airflow than 011s. So these outperform 011s in an airflow standpoint. Um, so yeah. Uh, so yeah, there is, uh, the thing is, is a couple things about this stuff is number one, uh, there is a lot more airflow in this case than there is a 011, specifically because of the back uh, top. Uh, and also uh, even there's more height at the bottom. Uh, for uh, airflow, uh, less airflow restriction into the rear and the bottom. Um, and uh, so yeah, it's actually a better, it's, a, it's, it's actually a better case, I'd say from a cooling standpoint than an 011 is right now. Until the 011 that comes out this year from Lee and Lee. I'm sure they'll get better, but this does have better airflow. Yeah, Scott, the, that's a, it's a good case. It's a good case. I've built in it now once, we're about to do it again um, and go from there, so. Uh, okay, so yeah, let me, uh, let me go through giveaways. I haven't even talked about that stuff yet, so we'll talk about what's going on from giveaways. Um, so we did end up finding, so we talked about this last week, um, we are still working on the mechanism for how um, subs are gonna be entered to win the PC giveaway. So right now, the, it, the subs will get extra entries towards the PC giveaway. We're trying to find a way if we can do it live on the day that we actually draw the PC. So we actually do have the PC. If we get above the 2,000, uh, above the 2,000 
uh, subs for the PC, then we will actually upgrade the PC. And then, like I said, you will get additional entries as a subscriber towards winning that PC that we're giving away. Right now, it's a 76, a 7600X and a 6650 XT is the system that we're giving away. In fact, we have it in the other room. So that's the system that we're giving away um, to, for the month of January. Um, so, uh, and that should be open to everyone, but of course, uh, subscribers, you get additional entries. So definitely an opportunity to subscribe. Uh, and then again, uh, the more gift, every gifted sub is an additional entry. Uh, and then at the same time, tier one, tier two, and tier three will also have additional entries. So that is still happening and that's happening. So thank you very much, Farger, for that. K-Dog, Kurosaki, and Sticker Bomb. Now, the one thing is, is that if we do not hit 2000 by the end of the month, we will reduce what is actually inside of it. So we still do need to hit uh, that tier in order to basically make sure we unlock the full PC. So it's it's our way of basically being financially supportive uh, and, and going from there. So please, thank you very much for your financial support and all that sort of stuff. And remember, uh, good chance we're gonna be giving away 12 PCs this year at least, which should be super, super rad. Um, and then there was, a, there is, a, we do actually have the winner uh, for November. Uh, we're just dealing, I just keep forgetting to pull it. Uh, Blondie did remind me today, but we had that, that we basically had to do a whole day of basically uh, dealing with that Intel thing. So I apologize, we will announce the winner on Saturday. Um, so, and yes, it is no cash equivalent. You're just getting the PC. So yeah, it should be a good one. But today guys, we are gonna be building a $4,000 PC inside of the, uh, the uh, NZXT H9 Flow today, which should be a lot of fun. Now I have done some pre-work from this. Um, so I have done some pre-work for this. Uh, as you can see, this is actually not what comes standard with the H9 Flow. Uh, in the H9 Flow, you get F120 fans in the back, so non-RGB. You also don't get the uh, the brand new F120 RGB duos, which is what we actually already have in here. So I have actually already replaced all the fans. Main reason I did that specifically for this build is one, I wanted the build to look good. Number two, it had to match the exact same specs we put inside of the uh, H5 Elite, so that way we could test an apples to apples comparison. Um, so that's already done. So in terms of build time, you guys are looking for probably a normal show because the one thing that is terrible, it's good and bad, is it's good that the fans, the, uh, the F120s and stuff like that are better, but it's bad in the fact that unlike, just like Corsair, essentially these guys have become just like Corsair where every fan requires two cables. And that means basically uh, if you install the number of fans we're gonna have in here, which is a total of nine, 10 fans, you're looking at uh, 22 cables that you have to cable manage, which is a lot of time. So um, anyway, that's, it's always something we're wanting to do. Oh, that's the other thing I forgot. Uh, if we, we need to make sure we get 250 likes on the YouTube video, uh, and that will unlock a $25 new a gift card. And then we got to get a level five hype train, which will also unlock a $25 new a gift card. So yeah, those are the other things going on there as well. So thank you very much for those likes and we'll have a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of what else. So what do you guys want to talk about first before we get into this and then we'll go through the build and all that sort of stuff. You guys want to talk about the KS a little bit more? You guys want to talk about uh, the Intel Creator Challenge? Anything you guys are specifically wanting, let me know. And then if not, we'll just start going into the build. Ba -ba -bum. It's good to see you guys. Thank you very much for all those likes, guys. Connection fans. Yeah, the fans are, they have their own dedicated hub now, which is cool. I like the new hub. It allows you to do six fans. Well, you could do with a, a extension, you can do uh, four fans and six RGB, um, but they do actually come with splitters. So you could do what's essentially 12 fans and six RGB, but there is no thing for that. Yeah, I retired. I'm, I'm actually pretty sure. I, I, I'm just guessing. I don't, I don't know for sure one thing or the other, but I'm guessing that it, now everybody's releasing their Gen 8 Asa Tech pumps. Um, and so I'm, I'm assuming that we're going to see a refresh. I mean, the Z73 is a bit old. Um, and so I'm guessing that you're, the reason you're seeing that is that we might see new AIOs at some point in time. But I, I don't know for sure. Um, they, have, they have actually been very hard to get. And the only thing, too, is that they do a lot of their stock goes to their own builders. Because remember, you can buy an NZXT machine. The funny thing is, is the machine we're gonna essentially build today, you can actually go and purchase if you wanted to from NZXT.com. Um, it's probably, it will be one of their, their uh, probably more than likely one of their SKUs. Braythorn, what's up, dude? It's a, uh, it's a, what is it? What's up, nerds? Or something like that. Lousy Gamer, thank you for the sub. Uh, and we're going from there. So thank you very much for that, guys. We got to be getting pretty close to the level five, to starting the height train. So, 
I've been waiting for my Z7 for over two months. It's finally coming tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. I knew it was something like that. Yeah, hype train should be rolling soon, guys. And then we'll start get we'll get started on this build. Let's see, can we get the hype train going? That's the question. Fargo tried to get it going already. We are showing. We will. We are today. We're going to use the uh, the new ATX 3.0 power supply from NZXT. So. And remember, guys, if we get to it, let's try and get it because the, other, the main thing I want to do is make sure we unlock that PC giveaway. And, oh, by the way, we will be having a stream Tuesday next week. Uh, main reason being is, is that Mon uh, we will be having a stream Tuesday next week, which is fine, uh, which is you guys are like, oh, that's no surprise. What's so big of a deal about Tuesday? Uh, the main reason that Tuesday next week is so important is that it is my birthday. So this will be the first time that my birthday will actually fall on a stream towards uh, a regular stream time. So yes, Tuesday next week will be a birthday stream and uh, we'll, be doing a we'll be doing a birthday. So that should be pretty fun. Um, it seems like I'm like, taking their time to put their CES 20 showcase on their websites. Oh, it's your birthday in two weeks too, huh, Farger? Oh, that's awesome. Maybe for my birthday, I'll actually play WoW, Farger. <laughs> Maybe that's what we'll do. Yeah, so we're gonna actually have a birthday stream. I haven't had, I actually have had no time, which I'm actually pretty stoked because now I, I'm not, we were supposed to go to Miami to do an activation with Aston Martin and that got pushed. Um, so we're gonna be doing something, uh, we're gonna be doing uh, we're, that, we're figuring that out next week. <clears throat> what age am I feeling? Oh, I, dude, I feel like, I feel like I'm 35. I don't know, I feel pretty young. I don't actually ever feel very old. Today is Phil's birthday, Phil Spencer's. That's right, today's Phil Spencer's birthday. We have a close birthday. Our birthdays are really close to each other. I forgot about that. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, we don't know yet. Well, right now, we are wor right now we're working on confirmation for, for um, PAX East, um, and then I don't know about Computex yet. Probably, that's a really big one for us to, for us to need to go to. 19 years, oh wow, Cole, that's awesome. Happy birthday to the oldest. You meeting up with any Miami fans? So it's flyby. I think the thing that's going to be important, given that we've been starting to see larger growth with stuff like that, is that we actually do set up meet and greets. So we'll probably set up a meet and greet in Miami if people want to come say hi. So thank you. We'll, we'll, we'll make sure that we do that. Yeah. Lunatic, we go between. We go between both. We have some A. We'll have some Intel builds this week too. I both think and curse you. <laughs> That's awesome. It's a great, it's a great case. Actually, honestly, that case is not that bad. NR200P is not a bad case to, to build on, uh, to build in. It's actually pretty easy from an SFF standpoint. So I think you'll actually enjoy that. Oh, JS, thank you. That's awesome that you got it. That's awesome that you got that. Uh, Speedy 21D, actually, yes, we do have some stuff coming up with the main gear. They have a brand new case. Um, that they just released, uh, that they did in partnership with Shroud. Um, and then also was the announcement of the AMD Advantage program. So they actually might be, we're working on it. I mean, nothing confirmed yet, but we, they might be our first AMD Advantage desktop uh, thing. So we'll probably have them on the show, uh, do a live benchmark, and then probably obviously do review and look at their case and stuff like that. So no latency, no low latency or slow mode on YouTube. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll have to uh, remind me and we'll fix, I don't think I can fix it now, but we will for the next one. I just got the Hype Y60 moving my build to that this week. Oh, congratulations, it's awesome. All right, well, it sounds like we're not gonna hit Hype Train and that's okay, uh, we're, it's not gonna be every day. So why don't we go ahead and get started on our build and let's talk about what we're putting inside of it. Um, and then maybe we'll hit Hype Train at some point in time throughout this. So, you know, it's funny, we're supposed to at some point in time go to New Jersey and visit them. Um, and so yeah, I have not, uh, Braithorn I was in all, I was today was all about that um, Intel thing, the Intel uh, creator challenge. So it was just judging that stuff. So I didn't have time to test it today. I will get it in there then. I'm sure we'll hit, yeah, I'm not worried about it. 
So, all right, let's get this started. Let's talk about what we're putting in this, it's, which is not Intel. In fact, originally we were gonna do an Intel build until I tested the 13900KS and I was like, hey, hey, we need to be very special about the uh, parts we're gonna put in there. But we are gonna be debuting some new parts from NZXT, starting with their new N760 B650E. So they just released along with uh, their H9, the B7, their N7 B650E, as well as their N7 Z6, Z790, both also released today. Um, this is, uh, it's got all of the stuff that you basically need. Um, it's still pricey. I will say it's not cheap. Uh, I forgot, board price on this, Tom, I forgot what it was. It is a really nice looking board. It's very clean, um, but it is not cheap. Uh, and then the other thing too, a couple things just to consider when you think about this particular board is that light limit, light control and RGB control on this. Uh, you want to make sure that you're going to choose RAM and you're going to choose, uh, um, yeah, choose RAM that has its own RGB controls because this does require NZXT cam. However, 320 bucks, yeah, that's crazy. Um, the other thing too that is actually also really bonkers about this is it actually has three USB connectors on the MOBO uh, and it has four headers specifically for um, NZXT RGB stuff. So uh, from a building standpoint, it's actually really cool to see that it's actually added that third RGB, um, which makes it a lot easier to do it. The other thing too is it also has side, uh, side installation for that USB 3 uh, connector for the motherboard. Uh, and, and the shielding is actually also very, very nice. So really, really like these. They're just pricey um, for what you get, um, which is the only thing to be considered of. <clears throat> I look like the new Intel has problems keeping cool in the H9 case in a video I saw. Yes, Speedy 21D, this is not an H, this is not a case for the 13900KS. You can do a 13900K. Uh, no, it's actually supports, it's got three M.2s, Farger. Uh, three M.2s. Uh, it, this one uh, will all do up to a 13900K or any basically AMD CPU, but do, this is not a KS. You need 420, uh, 420 millimeter radiator support for a KS. Unless you want to, unless you want to limit it to 253 watts, which is then why are you buying a KS? Um, okay, so for CPU, we're going to use the Ryzen 9 7900X. Uh, main reason I wanted to do the Ryzen 9 7900X and not a 7950, which is I know everybody's question. Main reason being is that the 7950 jumps right to 95 point degrees because that's how it basically manages itself. The one thing is, is you actually do get thermal headroom with a good cooler on this. So for we know what the headroom is on the H9 Elite. So for us to know the H9 Flow, which is why we're using this over something like the H9, uh, over the 7950X. It's literally so we can actually tell the difference in terms of the performance of the case. Um, Falcon Northwest is sending me a 13 in the Talon enclosure. Very excited to see how it handles that monster. Yeah, I'm actually really interested to see how that does too because, so I'm like, I'm gonna have to ping Kelt on that because I don't know how they're gonna cool that. It's a 280 millimeter AIO in there. And so I actually, you know, I have a Talon back here. Um, yeah, Braithorn, I'm actually super interested to see how that performs as well, because I, I don't know if it could. Um, yeah, I, I'm excited to see that too. Let me know what you, text me and let me know how it goes, because I, I, I want to see that. Uh, for cooling our 7900X, we're going to use the Kraken N73, uh, but in this case, we're actually going to replace the fans and make it a Z73, sorry, we're going to use a Z73 RGB. We're just going to replace the fans with the AER RGB fans that typically come with this, because as many of you guys are talking about, uh, getting the RGB version of this is actually really hard right now. Um, but more than enough cooling for our 7900X um, in the Elite, we actually ended up seeing temperatures in the low in the high 80s uh, when it was under load. I expect it to be a little bit better in the flow, but I guess we're going to find out. Uh, the 13, the, it didn't throttle in the Talon org. The, it throttled in the it throttled in the frag box, but it didn't throttle in the Talon. <clears throat> Did it? I don't remember it throttling in the Talon. I didn't think it had any problem in the Talon whatsoever. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry, we did the 7950X in the Talon. I've never tested a Talon with a 13900K, so I'm not sure. Oh yeah, it won't, it won't throttle gaming at all. Are the fans magnetic like thermal tape? No, they're not. They are not. They are multi-cable, multi, multi -cable. so. There is our cooling. Uh, for our, we have our RGB fans, here they are. Oh, he must've put them in here. So here's our AER RGB fans that we're gonna be, so we'll be using to, to make it RGB. And then we got, for cooling, we got our F120 RGB duos. They're already installed. 
Uh, for storage, we're going to be using uh, my, some of my new favorite, the Kingston Fury. Hey, how much is this, uh, Tom, the two terabyte Kingston Fury? I really like these drives. Um, we're, we're playing with some new stuff from this, but we're gonna use Kingston's two terabyte, oh, 190 bucks. Okay, so yeah, price-wise, it's actually right on par. Uh, and then we have the Kingston Fury 6000 mega transfer AMD Expo RAM. I love the lighting on this. You guys are gonna see it. It looks so clean uh, when it's purple. Um, and so, uh, and then, you know, so plenty with AMD Expo, which will run absolutely fine on these B650, uh, which is great. <clears throat> Um, the only one I didn't get was Team Red on, on, only one I don't lean Team Red is on GP. That's most people. <clears throat> um, okay. For power, we're using the NZXT C1200 Gold, which is brand, NZXT's brand new ATX 3.0 power supply. It does have the 16 pin or 12 pin, whichever you wanna say it, connector for it. We're not gonna be using that cable because it's ugly. Um, so we're gonna actually gonna stick with our regular PCI 5.1 um, that we always use for our extensions. But uh, if you wanted to, you, you could um, and go from there. Uh, we got, uh, oh, well, duh. Thank you for the, scri the, the sub, appreciate that. Uh, we also have our uh, Asia Horse purple cables, of course. And then we've got our PSU extensions there. And then finally for GPU, I couldn't think of anything better. Um, and we're gonna stick to what we already know because it needs to be the same. So we're gonna be using the Founders Edition RTX 4090, which is still currently the king of the graphics cards uh, in terms of just sheer performance power, um, in terms of also price. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's both for there. So if you ever wanna conflate the cost of your build, just throw one of those in there and we're good to go. Um, and then also it's amazing from a performance standpoint as well. So this is the build. <clears throat> so there is all the build. Well done, TJC dropping subs. Guys, we might actually be able to start that hype train. We only need like a couple more and then we could finish it out and unlock that other giveaway. So guys, thoughts on the build? Pretty good, right? We have an upside down part here. Let's, let's flip that around. And then I'll just sit here and do this in front of it. Okay, what do you think of the parts? Oh wait, I'm blocking them. Yeah, that's right, 4,000, right? That's what it was, right? Uh, that's what it was, right, Tom? It will look good, it does look good. Farger dropping 10 more gifted subs. Jeez, I'm crow. Can we get a jeez, I'm crow. It is 4,000, right? I, I'm not wrong, yeah? Yes, okay, Tom's, Tom's correcting me. Okay, we just need like one more. It's not 4,000 bugs. Logic's dropping a gifted sub. Hype train is about to begin. We need one more person to step up. And I'm twerking back. No, I'm not really twerking, that'd be bad. Pig Radio is like, oops, ads. We gotta get one more, one more person. There it is, Logic's dropping one more, and there we are. Now we're, oh no, Logic, it has to be a, another person. 100 bits, another sub. Make it happen, guys, and then we'll, uh, we'll get started with this build. Uh, honestly, Juniper, either one works. It's always, you could do a BLD, uh, Juniper from them. So that's a good idea where you actually order a, uh, you, they actually send you all the parts and you build it yourself, but then you have all the warranty from a pre-built. Uh, I use Sennheiser microphones. Okay guys, Dukeinator from uh, Juniper Ocera. Drop it in there. Let's see where we are. We are at level three. Let's finish it out. No, Benny Joy, no, 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 no. 360 would be barely enough even, I, I would not, don't buy a 1300KS and under, it's, you don't need a 1300KS if you're gonna put it, please don't do that. Sorry, it just, yeah. I'm gonna do a hot tub, yeah, that's just not a good, that's just not a good idea. I'm not trying to be mean, man, I'm trying to save you. Uh, Juniper dropping five more gifted subs, Blade of Ice dropping a gifted sub. We are on fire. Look at it already. Hunter War was here. Sternum 1999 dropping five gifted subs. Yeah, 3900KS needs a 420 millimeter AIO or it needs or it needs a uh, or it needs a custom water cooled liquid. 
Roby Tech off. Uh, let's see, we are at level four, guys, almost to level five. We should be at level five now. We just gotta finish level five and then we've got it going. We got it done. Oh, I'm glad you like it. I'm not trying to be, Benny, I'm, I, I, I try very hard not to criticize. I'm just trying to keep you from making a mistake. If you're gonna spend that kind of money, there is no reason for you to spend the third, let me put it another way, 13900 KS does not get you per enough performance in gaming for you to justify spending it on something that's gonna be under perform underpowered and undercooled. Does that make sense? Braythorn, five gifted subs. I always want to be very kind, so if I'm not being kind, let me know. Three, 13900K with a 360 is totally fine, Mr. Cinematic. What, uh, BMOC, I missed the question. Yeah, PC guy dropping another, you guys are so, thank you. I wanna say thank you. Thank you very much for being so generous, guys. I really do appreciate it. We are at three minutes and 50 seconds. We're almost there and then we'll start building. Luckily, I've done a lot in this build already uh, for all the stuff. What about the 12900KS for the AIO? You can do a 12900KS on a 360 millimeter AIO with really good fans. We have air cooled, we have water cooled a 12900KS with a H150i with ML120 Elites. That's been fine. The 13, oh, the thir is only 3% over a 7700X. Well, that's because it's like CPU means so little unless you're doing 1080p. I don't know, did, has anybody heard, I, and I don't know the answer to this, it's a genuine question. Is Intel calling the KS the fastest gaming CPU again? Do we know if that's true? Farger, 10 more gifted subs, dude. Thank you. Thank you very much, man. Really appreciate it. I haven't seen if that's what they're doing, yes or no. And there it is, level five, guys. Let's start building. I'm just gonna let it go. I've heard there's not much difference between the 5900 series. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, yeah. It's just, I, I'm, I'm curious if, uh, I'm curious because that was a big deal at their last launch event. They called it the world's fastest gaming CPU, but I don't feel like they're doing that this time. Hey guys, let's not forget to head over to youtube.com slash Robitech and Robitech Live and hit that thumbs up button. Hey, Elikushi, thank you very much for the sub. Oh, uh, 4070 Ti with 850 watt, 13.7, that should be fine, Jedi. That should be totally fine. That's such, a, dude, Jedi, that is such a great combination of CPU and GPU. That is such a great combination. I love the 4070 Ti. Haters gonna hate, I get it. Cost is, cost for GPUs now is weird anyway, but in terms of 4070 Ti is a great GPU. I like it. I also like the 7900 XTX. I hope they fix the, I really want them to fin, I really want them to fix their overheating issues. But I play a lot of games that actually use ray tracing, so that's why I, I have a tendency to use Nvidia. This guy here is an inspiration of where I want to be on PC building. Woo Ghost, that's awesome. Dude, I love that you, you I'm inspiring you. That's why I do this. I do this so we have a good time and talk and build and you guys enjoy it. Okay, so we have everything out here. Again, I am gonna show you guys real quick where we are on the case and talk a little bit about this case because it is new for a lot of people. I know most of you guys have probably watched reviews. So this is the NZXT H9 Elite. Now, yes, it is very 011 in terms of its insp inspiration. That does look a lot like an 011 with a couple subtle differences. Number one, um, there is a lot more room for airflow in this case, mostly because of the back. The back has very, very large, uh, very, very large holes to pull air through, um, which makes a massive difference in terms of the ability for the air to be pulled um, from the back of the case. So you can actually see here, you have a lot of air that you can pull from here. And this is actually really cool. Um, uh, you know, I really, honestly, a lot of people thought that when we did the H9 Elite that it would be a hot box. 
Um, and it was not a hot box at all. It, it did a great job of, of pulling in air from the side. They did some smart things in terms of the design and stuff like that to make sure that it is not as bad as, like say for instance, even the 011 with the same um, hardware inside of it. Um, so yeah, that's, that's one of the other key differences. The other thing that's worth noting on this versus the 011 is actually where the PSU gets installed. So the PSU is actually right behind the motherboard in this case. So it's a little bit higher uh, in terms of its location. I will say from a cable management standpoint, it actually makes it a little bit easier, but even the back of this is actually very 011 inspired. Okay, shush. Uh, the other thing too is this is cool too. I'm actually really interested. We've already started talking about the water cooling system we're gonna do in there, but you can put a very, very fat radiator even something with the thickness and then do a push-pull configuration here in the back. So I'm actually excited to see uh, what kind of water cooling we will be able to do inside of this PC because you do have room uh, for loops at that, for radiators at the top and the bottom uh, in all three places. You could, could potentially, we think, run three 360 millimeter radiators. And then in that case, you could do a full GPU and KS build if you, uh, you essentially wanted to. Um, the other thing too that did come out with this as well uh, is the introduction of these new duo fans, these RGB duo fans. So they don't have ugly, um, depending on both sides look good. Um, and you can actually see that we actually have this set up for optimized with intake on the bottom and the side with exhaust at the top and the back. And that's how we're gonna basically do our build today. The other thing that is different on this versus the Elite uh, version of this case is in the Elite version of this case, and I'll show you guys a top down here. In the Elite version of this case, they actually have a, um, oh no, let's see if I can get it centered on the camera. Okay, so in the Elite version of this case, this is clear, and this back here actually can pull in air from the back. I don't, I'm not entirely sure. I, I, well, actually, no, I do know why. Because you can now pull airflow from the top in the flow version, you don't need this, but with the uh, additional airflow here, it is actually pulling in a pretty good amount of air from the back here, which is actually pretty awesome. Um, but the acrylic floating version of this in the Elite looks really, really clean, and I've shown that off a little bit in the video um, that I actually posted on this as well. So you can do 360 in the front, you can take this off, um, and then do your mounting, and then go from there. So it is nice in that regard uh, in terms of installation. Uh, let's go to side camera here real quick. So in terms of what I've actually already done today though, is that the one thing that you are seeing that is not, this is does not, these are not included with the flow version of the case. But in this version, if you were to get the flow, you actually end up with the brand new F1, F120s. Um, and these three are all F120s. So when they're not RGB in the standard flow version, and the other thing that is also not included in the flow version, but you actually can see in my build right here is this hub. So I actually already have the, I moved the RGB hub from the Elite over to the Flow, so we can basically make sure we do an apples to apples comparison. So uh, in terms of what I've already done for the build, I've already installed all of the RGB fans and done the cable management for the fans, so you guys don't have to necessarily sit through that today. Um, and then you can see I've got both, these are set up for intake, these are set up for intake, and then we'll have exhaust and exhaust uh, in terms of the back there. So that's what's actually already done on the build. Um, and so I wanted to make sure that you guys knew that in, in advance. I ordered good, good, or I ordered the chaos. Make sure you had a lot of cooling for it, dude. <clears throat> Not all games use GPU over 90%. CPU bottleneck is when CPU is over 90 and GPU far under that. Just seeing what else is going on there. Any other questions that I'm showing you guys here? I want to make sure that you guys are clear. And if not, we'll, we'll start putting the, we'll start putting the MOBO together. What do the 4090 do go for? They're still, they're still 1600 bucks. They're just, they are the most in-demand cards. Um, they just, they, you can't keep them on store shelves. They're like the PlayStation 5s of the PC world right now. Uh, can 160 millimeter, you can do 160 millimeter air cooler in that case, yes. Bench setup with 420 millimeters and 360 and cooling memory and CPU only for now. Yeah, the four, you're gonna, so we just tested the 13900KS with an H170i with ML120 Elite and it thermal throttles with a 420. And those are good fans. So for the, we're gonna be doing a 7000D build 
for the um, for hey what's up UFT uh, we are going to be doing a 7000D build for the 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 13900KS and we actually need to and I was going to talk to Org about this Org I need high quality high static pressure non RGB fans because I don't think I'm going to be able to do it with anything less So a 4070 Ti outperforms a 3090 Ti in many cases and it is less expensive. A 4070 Ti goes for 800 bucks. A 3090 Ti goes for 1200. So uh, DJ Techno absolutely. Yeah, let me know. I I need to get a let I need to get it I need to get it in. We will absolutely use the NV20. We'll have both of them. We'll do a black and a white build and with both their D30s and stuff like that too. I don't know how they are in stock wise. Does anybody know, is a 4070 Ti still hard to get? Oh, that should be fine for a KS then. Well, that, that's because, that's I mean, if you have one, oh, well, that's good. So, so that's good that you can get them. Okay, so 4070 Ti's are great cards. Yeah, if you can get a 4070 Ti, I, like that's the first 40 series card I feel like you can like you can really recommend. I, I, guess, I guess all the rumors about the 4080's being cheaper uh, were, not, were not a thing. Because rumor was we we're supposed to see a 4080 price drop. Uh, super swag, not necessarily. Usually, the uh, usually they have lower overclock potential. I just need to order three fans so that way we can uh, we can do the build next week. Okay, here is our look at this motherboard. Isn't it pretty? Um, I really like it. So again, like I said, the things that are worth noting here, check this out. It's got three USB on the motherboard. So there it is right there. You got actually three USB, which is actually pretty cool, which is actually very much needed. Plus you have RGB here and you have RGB up here. Oh, you have RGB, you have two RGB, plus you have four NZXT proprietary RGBs as well. And then I also like this. You've got two USB 3.2 on the side. So if you were gonna put this in an 011 dynamic, this is a great board to use for an 011 dynamic, especially in XL because you've actually got the support for both. Uh, you got USB 3.2 Gen 2 by two, uh, and then everything else on here is all magnetic. So if you need to get to the other M.2s, it's all magnets. So they've, I, I will say that their design has improved greatly. So there's your one, your two, and your three uh, M.2s. Their design has improved greatly on these boards. Uh, you also get Wi-Fi 6. Uh, you've got uh, USB 3.2 Gen 2. You've got plenty of, uh, plenty of um, uh, front I, uh, plenty of I.O. And then finally, they've got a BIOS flashback, which is something we've been waiting for on NZXT boards for a while. So um, yeah, there is a Wi-Fi card in there, yeah. All right, so let's get our, let's get our chip in. Uh, honestly, I don't think scalpers are, uh, I don't think scalpers are um, too keen right now on, uh, on the whole um, scalping GPUs anymore. I think a lot of people got burned by 4080s. So I think that's the other thing that's helped is I don't think you see a scalper population as high as you did with the 4080. I don't know why it's not Wi-Fi 6E. There we go. Yeah, I'm actually a really big fan of the case too. Yeah, we can do RAM prediction now. I'll put it on the M.2s just to give you guys some time for the RAM stuff. Because this isn't going to clear. It has a little bit of a pop. 
I have not used a CPU frame for Zen 4. We finally did use one for the, th we did use one for the 13900KS build. What do I need? Uh, I need this and I need, there it is. Jambo, that is the eternal debate. Let's go with 95, yeah, that's fine. The eternal debate on RGB. I'm sorry, but Jambo, it does improve frame rate. There we go. Some nice clean. Yes, you can turn off RGB. Well, that's why you spread it because then you don't have to worry about the cleanup. You just do a little bit of peeling along the sides and then it just takes care of all that stuff. There we go. Okay. Let's grab our AIO bracket. I do know, I, I'm interested because I do know that, um, I do know that Zydax, and we're going to be testing this on a 13900K, but uh, Zydax has delitted KSs, which apparently have better temps. So, because you're talking about liquid metal, so. Yeah, I don't, and you know, it's funny because the guys from AMD actually said it was for aesthetic purposes, which is like, wait, what? It, it doesn't actually have any functional purpose the way the IHS works like this. Um, M.2, that's what I was looking for. But then it's a German 4090, Hein. That's better, right? This is the uh, B650E from NZXT. It's brand new, it just launched today. Oh yeah, we just started the build. You didn't miss nothing. They're pretty clean. There's some there's some there's some tacks with it. There's some tacks with it. Just make sure that you uh you make sure that you get uh uh RAM that has really good RGB software. Um but outside of that, that's kind of it from a tax standpoint. And the BIOS and stuff like that is actually pretty good. We got dad joke. Somebody dropping a dad joke. Okay, I heard a dad joke maybe, maybe on, maybe on the border. But it, it's, it, was, it was interesting because this is from a dad joke channel. So here it is. I heard getting a job at, uh, getting a job at an ED, at an ED clinic, an erectile dysfunction clinic, 
isn't all that difficult, but I also heard it isn't all that hard either. It was on the edge. <laughs> it was on the edge. <laughs> it was on the edge. <laughs> I was on the edge. I, I stayed on there. I stayed on there. It was spicy today. A little bit spicy. Okay, let's do our uh, let's do our our thing. It wasn't dirty, was it? I mean, it was it was about a, it was it dirty. Let me, let's do a vote. Was that too edgy? Cause I'll, I'll go in there. Oh, nice then. It was just right, good, okay. You guys know me, I try to be very safe. Okay, uh, let's grab our clicker. Uh, yes, we, we are definitely working hoodies. It's, everything's taking it. You're going to be our EK new water block for D-litted 12th and 13th gen. Any chance you're going to test out EK new water block? Uh, we, uh, we do have a D-litted 13th gen that will be here any day. So yeah, we could. I can ask him. Uh, EK can send us one. Okay, top down guys. Ready? We're pausing the music. 95, the Kingston Fury's up today. 6,000 megahertz AMD Expo. We're also working on TEC, uh, trying to get some TEC stuff too. So. Ninety-two. Mm. Ninety-four, dang it! It did not do it. It was not furious. It was not furious, guys. It did not make it. It did not make it. I thought it was gonna make it, guys. I thought it was. Sorry guys, it's slow mode's not, the slow mode is on on uh, YouTube. We'll get that fixed. I forgot, I need to turn it back on. Uh, 100. Uh, 76 or 77, either one of them would be good, scumbag. Or 5800X3D is also a really good option. But if you want something that has a little bit more leg room, then either one of those would work too. I won two points. Way to go, Craig. Big winner right there. Hit those likes, guys. It'll do a 3090 Ti too, Paul. Four stuff. There it is. Thank you very much for all the support. Okay, so there's our bracket we need. Okay, let's get our stuff on. What's up, York? How are you? Kuro, Kuro, you do like me here, but we want it on both. Thank you. Okay, there we go. We got that all squared. Okay, so there we're good to go there.
Okay, so I think the Mobo's ready, guys. Why don't we just, for the sake of speed, let's just put our AIO together. Let's just do it out of order today. Let's just be crazy. You guys ready to be crazy? We're gonna be crazy today. Just by watching. That's how you like it on Twitch. Okay, I'll move this out of the way. We're just gonna be crazy today. Hey, $50, Robert. Super high end bleeding builds. Also, I want a graphic t shirt with Roby saying it's blooming cold. <laughs> Thanks for the $50, man. Super appreciate it. <clears throat> That's a huge one. Thanks, buddy. Okay, here's all of our in out, in outs, all our cables. We're gonna keep all these alone. Okay. Do things, you've been MIA for a year. Where'd you go? Why'd you, why'd you MIA me? I don't have my do things. I'm glad you're back, dude. Retired, thanks for coming in, man. Thanks for stopping in. Ugh. Well, welcome back, dude. Yeah, that's, that's a regular one. Well, thanks for tuning in. Means a lot. Okay, I think these go this way. Well, I appreciate you watching the videos, the YouTube videos. Uh, Goliath, you just make sure it's plugged in all the way. That's all you have to do to make sure it doesn't happen. That's really all that. That's really all there is. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing more than that. Yeah, we do. We have a video on it. What's up, Pink Moon? How are you, man? Okay, there's our third. Okay, we have an interesting circumstance here. A cable that's missing. There's one. I need two of them. <sighs> oh, there it is. Okay, we have another one here. Okay, just trying to find my cables. I think it's already, you can buy it now. Okay, there's that. Jovian TV, thank you for the resub, by the way. 28 months. Appreciate you, my man. I have seen the I have seen it show up on Amazon. It just I don't think it I don't think it wouldn't have available. Another 
short in and out cable. Is it long? Looking for a cable that was there, but now I cannot find it. Sorry, sorry guys. One second, guys. I just got to get a cable real quick that got taken apart. Okay, crisis averted. We have found it. There we go. Okay, now we can start putting this together. Oh, let me make sure. This is before I start screwing in screws. <clears throat> this is going to be like this. So we need this on this way. Okay. Okay, now we can do this. Always the, make sure the, uh, make sure the direction is correct. Scum, scumbag Dan, is that how you say that? Is that, I'm, I hope I'm saying it right. I hope I'm not being illicit here with your name. There we go. Appreciate it, good. Don't want you to get mad at me. Send me hate, hate mail. That guy called me a scumbag. Karma Dub, thank you for the sub. Karma Dub Dub, thank you for the sub. Okay, here we go. Now we're just gonna start screwing this in. How you guys been, everybody, uh, how's, how's, how's everybody's week going? You guys seem like going quite crazy. Yeah, it's it is zero hip. You are absolutely right. The thirteen nine hundred KS is not for the everyday consumer. Been a long week. Why? Why so, PC guy? 
Okay, let's hook up our in outs, in outs. go. Okay, there we go. In, out, 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 in, out. Now all we need now is this, which connects into this. So this is going into the in. Into the in. There we go. Okay, here we go. We got everything good there for this. We hit Riddick. We did actually hit the first hype train. What's up, dude? You're, are you late today? We didn't even have to use you today. That's okay, right? Means people can, people can, uh, luckily Farger st stepped up today. But he, not that he always, he always does though. <laughs> it's all good, my friend. Thanks for tuning in. How's the build treating you? Good? I'm glad. What's up, Tim? I was telling people asked, who did you vote? Who did you who did you choose as your win? And I said, Tim was my winner. You and you and Stuart, man. Best, best mix of cooling with two 420 millimeters, uh, hardware usage, um, and just uh, aesthetics and design, my man. So congratulations. I know I'm I know unfortunately you didn't pull it off, but I really did think you were gonna win, dude. So great work from you and Stuart. I have much love. I have made much love from uh, for uh, much love for Liquid too. You guys both nailed it, dude. Stuart, great work, man. That build was that build was awesome. So you guys were my you guys were my uh, you guys were my top choice. So, and now you're now look. They're like, wow, look at you building this rudimentary build. But I love these builds. These are the builds that everybody can build. For those of you who don't know, uh, joining us right now is GGF Stewart or GGF and Tim from PC Works, who were the um, second place winners on today's uh, Intel Creator Challenge. Good friends of mine, Tim. Uh, we've done collaborations with Tim before. He was here and he did the Aura stuff. You've actually seen him on the stream. Stewart, we've never had on the stream, but we're supposed to build in this Lee and Lee case over here. Uh, and AMD has been waiting for us to get that started. Um, so Karma Dev, thank you for the sub. Um, but anyway, Amazing human beings. Awesome to have them here on the show. They're probably pretty tired. Probably going to dinner, I'm assuming. I think that's usually where it is right now. Riddick, thank you very much for dropping those subs. Um, and uh, hopefully you guys are getting some rest now. But you guys are you guys are local. You can just go back to SD, right? If you really wanted to. Nice. Cool. That's good. Well deserved, you two. Congratulations again. You guys, you guys made a dang good system. Tell Alejandro I said hi. You know what? It's funny. So, hey, you'll find this funny, Tim. Uh, I got off of the stream, and then um, they pinged me right afterwards. And they're like, hey, is everything okay? And I was like, well, what do you mean, is everything okay? They're like, you were just really quiet. I was like, I was just, I was just judging. I didn't know what I was, I didn't know I was supposed to do more than that. So they were worried about me. I was like, no, everything's cool. You guys, it's, it was good. Trish, Trisha's good people, isn't she? She does good work, doesn't she? Can't ever hate Trisha. Yeah, she's super. 
One of my favorite humans. Yeah, I can never hate Trisha. One of these is missing a screw thing. I know, I saw that, I was there. I, I, I saw you call it out. You said 32 zip ties. I just need to make sure you knew that. <laughs> I, I didn't see the back of the, how clean was the back of the, the, the cable manager? Was it pretty good? It was really funny when, uh, it's really funny when Tim and uh, Ben were doing the, um, ben, Tim and Ben and I were doing the Auris thing. They went and ate because they knew I was getting ready to cable manage. They're like, dude, we'll be back in a while when you're done cable managing. <laughs> They're like, they're like, we don't care enough. You go do your cable management on the Oris build, which is sitting right here, by the way. So our Oris build, this is the one we actually built with Tim. Um, and uh, he was like, yeah, uh, we're gonna go eat while you do that. How do you feel about people saying the H9 Flow is an 011 ripoff? Um, I, those people haven't tested the H9 Flow's airflow. Uh, the H9 Flow is actually a better, a better airflow case than the 011 is right now. Now that's not to say Lee and Lee won't fix that, but right now it is not. I mean, again, there's only so many designs that you can kind of have with a case, right? So, uh, yeah. I think that people, I think people need to like, it still looks different enough that, uh, you know, people need to chill, but it is a better airflow case than the 011. Riddick's good people. Okay, I'm gonna pop this in here real quick. Zoom out a little bit. There we go. My my cooler is off here. Okay, there's our beautiful NZXT board. There we go in like Flynn. <clears throat> hey guys, how are we doing on likes on YouTube? 500 people here. So you guys are chilling. See if we can get those last likes. Oh shoot, okay, there we go. Thanks Riddick for doing that. Are they doing another Riddick movie? Uh, so for 14, 5600 with a, for 1440p, you could do, if you want to stay on the AMD side, you could do a 6800 XT or 6800 uh, 60, XT is a great card. They're actually very nice and cheap. Um, the other one you could do a 4070, you could do a 4070 Ti or a 30, you could do a 3060 Ti too. Um, or if you want to go cheaper, 6650, um, but any one of those, uh, the range. Uh, you, yeah, you're, you're not air cooling high end. Hey, so Stuart, did you, is Stuart, did he leave? Did you, did you uh, run uh, your, uh, did you guys run it under Cinebench? What were your temps under Cinebench for your build? Is that build going, is that build staying there? Because can you send it to me so I can test it? I want to test that build. I think they already left. Enjoy your meal, Pig Radio. It's like dinner and a show. I want to test their build. I bet you that thing is a fortune to ship, though. Yeah, the D15 or the U12A are both great air coolers. Do 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 do. Just putting in stuff. 
I try, PC guy. I try. I try to put on a good show. That's what it's all about is entertainment. You guys enjoying it. I do it for the for the lulls. There we go. Okay, our AIO is now in. I mean, our, our motherboard is now in. Oscar Marty, it just, just launched today. So you're seeing, you're seeing, I think probably the first live stream. Yeah, apparently LG has that new 97 inch. If you want to get in on that action. Okay, let's go to side. Bring it up, put in all our stuff. That's a, actually Elku. It's actually a pretty good way to learn how to build PCs. Not not gonna lie. Yeah, and it actually has wireless connectivity. So like all of the cables are wireless in that LG TV, the 97 inch. It's pretty crazy. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, guys, we're gonna run all of our front panels and all that fun stuff. So first up is our. HD audio that goes right here. Next up, we got the first of our USBs. It's gonna go right here. Second up, we've got our front panel header, which is cool because it's all one connection. That's gonna go right here. Next up, we've got USB 3.2. That's gonna go right here. This is a little bit of a beast to hook up, by the way. So we're gonna put it actually down. Uh, Airheart, that would be fine. CPUs don't matter that much depending on what level, what gaming level you're going to be at. For 4K, that's a great combination. And it's not going to be a beast to cool either. Yeah, it's a lot of TV for sure. Can I reach this? Maybe, barely? Uh. I might want to get that a little bit out. Hold on. Okay, I'm just going to give this a little bit more slack here. Okay, and that's going to go right here. There we go. Okay, all of our cables are out. Yes, you can, Kurosaki. You can adjust the brightness of the RGB fans. They absolutely, you absolutely can. Oh, really? The BIOS is being finicky for you? That's unfortunate. Okay, let's get these connections hooked up. There we go, first one. There we go, there's that one. This one takes a little practice. Just gotta go it patiently. But it looks so pretty when it's done right. Look at that, so clean, love that. Uh, no, that's too little power. You want 750 watts or higher. That looks so clean. I love that. 
I love that. I wish everybody did that. Okay, USB. David, thank you very much. Okay, there we go. All of our motherboard connections are now in. So we've got USB-C, USB 3.2, love that clean look. You've got your front panel header, USB for our hub, and then we have HD audio right now. Everything else is all basically already connected. Our fans are all on the hub, which is all controlled right here, which is actually pretty red. Okay, so at this point in time, what we could do is we could go ahead and let's do our AIO. Hey, KD Tray 590, thank you for the sub. Okay, so let's go ahead and put in our AIO. go. Ugh. There we go. Old McRoby had a farm, A-I-A-I-O. Yeah, Choa, I also am talking to people on Twitch. So I have three chats combined. I have Twitch and, uh, I have Twitch and YouTube and Facebook, though we only have like Quintus who ever really chats with me on Facebook. SR71 Blackbird, uh, I, I love that name. The Blackbird build. I like that a lot. It's one of my favorite planes from back in the day. It was a long time ago to do things. Well, good. The good thing Chua is it's like it's all in a single chat, so I can see it all. Oh, really? Count it? That's awesome, dude. Have you guys seen the show The Recruit on Netflix? I've been enjoying that. Just speaking of black uh, programs. Yeah, it does make it easier to clean, doesn't it? By your donos combined, I am Captain Roby. Yeah, you definitely need to clean. Cleaning PCs is always fun. Just putting in the last of our screws. Uh, I don't know if that's true anymore. Used to be. I mean, it's the one that the most public one still. Yeah, with Mach 3 Plus. Yeah, it's fly by me. They actually have it here at the at the one in it. Uh, I don't know what the fastest anymore. Yeah, the yeah, that's not real though.
I don't know if there is a, I don't think there's a public plane that's faster though. There might be something that again, that we don't know about it. The fastest is this build. This is the fastest right here. The wow stick. You guys ready? Get ready. Wow. 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 That's so fast. Look how fast it is. Wow. The wow stick can. 2100 mile per hour wow stick. Wow. Wow. That's the sound it makes. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's true. This one's probably faster, but it's not more aerodynamic because it's got the lid on it, so it's got more air drag. Okay, let's put this away. Who remembers how awesome they were at making jet sounds? Just saying. And, and machine gun sounds. Those were the days. Those were the days when we used to make machine gun sounds. Do things we did one earlier. It was about erectile dysfunction, but it was still a dad joke. Yeah, I actually lived in Okinawa where they used to fly out uh, the SR-71. Um, and it used to, uh, yeah, it used to leak fuel on the, it used to leak fuel on the tarmac. And I actually got to see the engines in a hush house. It was incredible. We used to watch those things take off all the time. So I was one of the luckies who used to watch those things all the time in, uh, at Kadena Air Force Base. Both the short tail and the long tail, which because there were two models. Oh, Lester, I've been there. I went to school at Kadena as well. Oh, I forgot to grab the... This is... I love things like this. They just make... Installation so easy. Okay, we're gonna leave it somewhat out because I still need to put the the thing in. Yeah, I mean the 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 physics behind it were amazing, right? The physics behind the SR seventy one. I, I, I honestly, I would do 750 watts to town, Scott, but you're probably going to be fine. It just depends on the PSU. Well, the problem is, is that it gets shot down too easily now. Even though it can take like a bajillion bullets, it's still... It still gets shot down too easily. And from shoulder launch weapons. Oh, Legacy, well, it's also, I mean, it, weapons have gotten a whole lot better too, even for other companies. Yeah, that plane has been around. For, I mean, think about it. If you think about the freaking A-10, think about the B-52, man. 
Well, I mean, we just haven't had a lot of chance for it to get shot down, count to it, though. Let's finish out those likes on YouTube, guys. Don't get me wrong, I love the A-10 Warthog. One of my favorite planes, but... funny because I mean even with things like drones and stuff like that it's like its operational usefulness has gone down too still a great plane oh really that's amazing Farger that's like legit that's like a legit like something to be proud of and hidden attribute they're not retiring it man it's going to be freaking uh, it's going to be a drone launch platform forever She's not a big bomber. Well, I'm sure there are people who are gonna disagree. I'm just saying that's what the that's just what they say. I'm not an I'm not a fighter pilot anymore. I mean I was going to be. But there's a lot of that stuff I don't know. It's just what I read because I love them. Okay, that's good. It's, well, it's easy. It sounds like this. That's what that's what the A10 sounds like. It doesn't sound like it doesn't sound like a Gatling gun. It sounds like. You want to see? Okay, A10 is impressive. You want to see a real, real impressive thing? Watch a uh, a uh, a uh, AC130 Spectre put. To use its, its yeah, it's yeah, it's like burnt. Yeah, that's true. It's more like burnt. Uh, watch an AC-130 Spectre shoot. That is impressive. And an a it's, A10 is very impressive. But an AC-130 Spectre, that blows your mind. It can put an inch of lead in every square foot of a football field in some ridiculous, yeah. It's so crazy. I have not seen a Harvest Hawk. That's awesome, David. They are great planes. Oh yeah, those things are crazy too. The Atlases. It was cool. Have you ever seen the movie Battleship? Because Battleship, they actually showed them, which is actually pretty cool. Yeah, the Phalanxes was another name for them. The Globemasters is C-17. C-17 and then the, yeah, the C-17. And then the B-21 is the Raider. And then there was the C-141, the Starlifter, the C-5 Galaxy. Yeah, three, yeah, that's what it was, David. At seven, it could put a, it could put 6,000, three rounds in every square inch of a football field in three, in like, in like, it's so crazy. Yeah, there was the, there was the, uh, there was this, there's the, uh, I'm thinking the Starlifter was a C-141. The C-17 is the Globemaster, and the C-5 Galaxy is the, well, it's the Galaxy. That thing, you know that thing has a 50% functional rate? Like, there's 50% of the time it doesn't take off? Dude, thrust vectoring is bonkers. Yeah, I love the C. I like the F-22. I also like the F-23. I thought the F-23 was prettier, but the F-22 one. Yeah, NW right, it just came out. Well, now it's like the I mean, because it's funny because they're re they're retiring the F-22 and then they're just replacing it with the F-15. Because the F-15 was upgradable. 
F-35, F-35 is the, the F-23 you don't see. There's only two of them. Uh, as far as I know, yeah, they're still there. The Marines have those, the F-35 VTOLs. Yeah, they got the radar cross-section of the F-15 to some ridiculously small. People are like, people are like, this is a PC build show and you've been talking about airplanes. I love airplanes about as much as I love PC building. They're my favorite. <clears throat> that was supposed to be my first job. You guys remember the, the like the the uh, the B the B one? Yeah, the B one was awesome. The B one B was an incredible plane. Also, like the F one eleven Aardvark, um, the Tornado. F-117, which is now retired. <laughs> Kuro's like, wait. Yeah, my, my mom worked on the F-4, the Phantom. It was a great, uh, great planes. Okay, guys, we got that, that whole airplane discussion got our, our cable extensions installed. Yeah, I've actually reared and I've done C1, I've done a C130, I've done a C5, I've flown on a C5, uh, I've flown on an F16, a T5, uh, uh, a T5 Talon, um, and then I've been on a C141, and then of course stuff like KC135s and stuff like that too. Uh, I use cable extensions because it makes it look pretty, because you want that that beautiful purple. It's I, it's I use them to make it look pretty. Pretty build, pretty build. I told my wife if I ever like became independent, like crazy independently wealthy, I would buy an A10. I'd also buy an F16, because I love the F16. Okay, what did I do with my bracket? I know I had the bracket. What do we do with the bracket, guys? Oh, there it is. There it is, there's our bracket. Now remember, thermal paste is already on there. Don't panic. Let's put it down so we can put our thermal paste on. I mean our, wait, okay. Put it down so we can put our cooler on. You guys ready to be happy? Because I love it when you finally see the light. You see just how pretty that purple is. Oopsie. There we go. My first build ever was actually, a, I actually have it, it's in the other room. First PC build I ever did is in the other room. It was in an NZXT case, a Razer NZXT case. Um, and we still have it. We meant to do a video on it. It's not working, we just need to replace the AIO on it. Hold on one sec guys, my daughter's calling. Okay, here we go. Let's 
get this done. Somehow when I fill out your VODs play and I wake up to your voice, I now know how to build a PC literally with my eyes closed. That's amazing. Thank you for that $5 super chat. Okay, let's throw that right there. Okay, so there is, the AIO is now installed. It looks so good. What's up, Trisha? You did great work today, girly. You killed it. Aren't you at dinner? Aren't you at dinner? Or not yet? It's uh, Stuart and uh, Stuart and uh, Tim dropped in here earlier. Oh, I miss you guys too. But you guys did great work. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, Tim, I want to test your build. I was telling people that. Can you sit? I want to see if they'll send me your build so I can bench it. Did Stuart, did you guys run Cinebench on it? What were your temps? I appreciate you guys coming and saying hi. Oh, you guys are amazing. Where's, where's, yeah, I want to test your build. We need to see how good it is. Because it's, it's good. I need to test John's too, but I'm supposed to hook up with John later. Where's John? Is John, is John and Ellie not going to come say hi to me? Is this, is this just, is this them being mean to me? They don't want to hang out with me anymore. Okay, that sounds good, man. Eight point was hit with Ellen two. Yeah, I heard about that. Did I? Somebody said they were using it. Uh, we've done Ellen two before. Yeah, now you need to do liquid helium. That's what. That's how you get the real ones now. They did, G, G, G good. They did a nine gigahertz with liquid helium, which is four degrees above absolute zero. Oh, we got the poets here too, man. That's awesome. We, uh, I wanna do liquid nitrogen. I wanna have it in the studio for sure. Come pick it up. Are you, are you, do you have to drive back with it? Or are you guys, you and Ellie are just driving on your own. And, and by the way, Liquid House is here guys, which, hey, by the way, John, your other build just showed up today. So I, I'm gonna, we're gonna, we, I gotta, we gotta, we gotta come test that one. I mean, we're gonna do that one live on the stream anyway, because that one's capable of doing, uh, that one we can do, by the way, idle on that one guys, with the 13900KS, the one that John built, idle, uh, sorry, uh, stock, um, just temps, it's sitting in the 80s. Like, sorry, low 70s, high 70s. So he did, the one that we have for the uh, the ice bar build was incredible that he built. And we're gonna show that off too. Yeah, they're sick of lugging bull. They're sick of lugging, they almost bought a different car because of all the lugging around. Yeah, they got 6.1. So we could have gotten higher if we hadn't used, I don't know if it was the right liquid. I've talked to a bunch of people. We could have gotten 6.3 in the ice bar. I'm pretty sure. Cause we were, we had, we had 20 degrees to play with with 5.9 all core. So we had lots of room. I need to, but I need to bench your systems. I can't even imagine. So are they, is Bento, are they just sitting at Bento right now? I could probably have Alejandro pay to send them to me so we can cut, get more coverage on them. Is Alex there? Tell Alex he's got to send me the build so I can test them all. How, how, Robitech fans, would you like to be? Would you guys like me to test all the, uh, the, uh, 
Intel builds, would you guys like that? Oh, they're about to be? That's funny. It's my peeps. Yeah, that's why I want to test the ones that they made. Because, like, honestly, the, the cooling capacity for John's and Tim's is really high. That's why I want to test them. Because it'd be fun to test. It's got nine, it's got 10 fans. We're just getting the cool, we're getting the, uh, making sure it looks good. That's the important part. Philanix, this is a nice case. It comes out on Monday. I just got the final cut. I'll send it to you guys tonight. Actually, if you want me to liquid, I can send it to you now so you can show people. If you guys want to see it, you guys can see it at dinner. I can send you the link so you guys can watch it. I just got the set, the the next the near final cut from Deb just a few minutes ago. Yeah, the ice part video is gonna be cool. But the poets, are you there too at dinner? That's funny. He's making his way everywhere. Okay, I'll send it to you now. She just sent it to me. Let me know if you have access, I'll, I'll find out. Okay, sending it to you now. Oh, I need to send it to Allie because you don't ever check your email. Okay, I just sent it. <clears throat> yeah, Bo De De Poets does good stuff. We've become, uh, we've started becoming friends. Where are you guys eating tonight? John never answers his phone. He doesn't answer his email apparently either. He told me, he's like, I don't use that email. I was like, oh. <laughs> John's good people, man. They've just been very busy. You guys, you guys get a little bit of a break now that ICC's over there, right? Okay, we got that all done. Come on, guys, 500 people here. How are we doing on likes? This is gonna be an epic build. Two hundred six guys. We're almost done with the likes. Let's finish it out. Ugh. Okay, we have do one more here, and then all of our cable management. We just got to run one more set of cables over. Guys, we're really close to done with this build, actually. Uh, the drivers are already downloaded. This build is 100% ready to go when I turn it on, when it's done. Okay, there we go. Ugh. That's all good. That's... Well, I mean, if, 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 if it makes you happy, then I've done my job. That's all I want to do is make you happy. If I did, if, if this build is what will make you happy, then awesome. That's the whole point here. Okay, so we're gonna run this USB down to right over here. You gotta just plug that in and then we can take care of our AIO. Let's go to side camera here. There we go. OK, 
Okay, here is, okay, so what, here's, we're gonna hook up our AIO stuff real quick. Let's go to top down. Just need my, okay, there's it is. This is the connection for the RGB. I like it when all of the AIO is like self-contained. It makes things really easy. Phone. Phone. Not that. That's gonna be for the AIO. That's for this. I'm missing, there it is. Okay, there's all of our cables. Okay, I think the right thing to do is actually to move. I, so last time I didn't do this, but I think I'm gonna do this this, this time. I'm actually gonna run these up here. Yeah, I actually like it when they're all, when like the AIO is all like self-contained cables. It actually makes things way easier, way, way easier. So that in there, there you go. Thanks, I'm glad you're enjoying it. We're almost done. Okay, that takes care of all of our AIO stuff. Okay, so we gotta run that right there and this around. That's our last fan that has to get hooked up. Right, thank you. In right, thank you very much. Thank you very much for the five dollars, man. I appreciate it. Last cable for the build for the uh, AIO and the fans. This will take care of that. Takes care of our. Okay, so now all of our cables are connected. Okay, now we just need to take care of this little, not actually, there's actually not that bad of a rat's nest here. It's just about getting it cleaned up. Oops. Uh, the fans totaled, I I'm sure Tom or, or Blondie could pull that data for you. If you guys want to know what the fan costs were. Now it comes with three fans already. So it's only, you only have to buy two, you have to buy, and then if you buy the AIO, it comes with the fans as it is. So really it's only one pack of three pack of fans in a, 
Oh, it's very versatile, but so am I. I'm always versatile. No, these are the H9 Elite because we're we're going to do an apples to apples comparison between the two. So these are the these are the ones for the H9 Elite. The H9 Flow comes with F140 non RGB, so you would have to buy another pack of these for if you were going to do the exact same that I have. You'd have to buy another pack of the F120 RGB duos. Okay. Okay, that looks nice and clean on both sides. That will look good up there. Hey, can be uh, Sama. Thank you very much for the sub. do this any other way. There we go. Nice and clean. Now let's just get this zip tied in and then we'll just zip tie this, clean this up. Okay, that looks pretty good, don't you think? Nice clean cable management. Okay, <clears throat> I'm trying to think of what else we need to do. AIO's hooked up. Really, David? That's awesome. Dude, David's David's build is awesome. I love his build that we did that we did in partnership with Ron, uh, who also did Riddick's build, by the way, David. Okay, so now what we can do? Let's go ahead and put in our GPU because that's where we're at, right? And then even when it's closed, it's even clean, right? Because that'll be hidden. There's the front, which also looks very clean. Hey, Warts the Dog, thank you for the subs, five subs. Appreciate you, my friend. Okay, guys, time for that GPU that everybody loves, except for BMOC. But I know BMOC loves me anyway. Ugh. Actually, BMOC doesn't not like the 4090. It's actually not true. Let's do it. Uh, I don't know how close we are to the second hype train. That's a good question. There it is, guys. Ready to go in. How are we doing on likes on YouTube? We gotta be close. It does still have the same cooldowns. Let's 
Let's get those last 20 likes, guys. Scott Maxfield, thank you for the sub. 30 months, man. Congratulations. Thank you very much, dude, for being such an amazing supporter. Here we go. Time to put this beautiful thing in. There we go. <clears throat> You'd be nervous about putting the 4090 in? Thank you, Matt Atta. There's our YouTube goal, guys. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks, thanks, Matt. I have to say, man, this case looks really clean. It's really easy to put nice, clean builds in this. So I like. The one thing I'll have to do is I need to make sure that this red, this purple cable gets pulled you can see the purple through it. I need to fix that, but that's an easy fix. We'll fix that on the other side. Excuse me. <clears throat> okay, let's fix our couple things and get down. Okay. We're good. Okay, all of our cables are ready. Let's get our let's get our PSU in. It's the end, guys. Last part. Last part. Who's excited? Then we'll run a couple thermals, see how this does.
People are excited, that's good. I'm glad you like watching it, man. I'm glad you're enjoying it, that's why I do it. Oh, this PC is not for giving away, dude. Giveaways today are the uh, giveaways for today are the uh, other things. Wait, where's the sub goal? I just realized it's not on here. Sorry about that. Okay, now we need this uh, we're gonna we're gonna go through that here in a minute me high but it's uh it's uh it's uh VIP CDK deals There it is right there. Blondie, take care of it. Riddick drop in three gifted subs. Thank you, my friend. Remember guys, we gotta hit that, we gotta hit that PC giveaway though. That's the real goal right there. Get that PC giveaway gun. Yeah, Joshua, I am. I'm on Twitch and YouTube. Sixteen more people will be over 500 for viewers today. That's good. 311 people hanging out on Twitch, which means the rest of you guys are hanging out on the YouTubes. I'm on the Twitch tube. That's right, I am, buddy. It's new. You been to the Twitch tube? Heck yeah, I have. Twitch tube. Okay, let's get our PSU out. This PSU is not new, so it doesn't it doesn't have that new PSU smell. But it is in the white blankie. Here we go. It is in the white blankie, so. We haven't announced the winner yet, Riddick, because I keep forgetting to pull the winner. So I will. It wasn't last month's, it was the one before. This PC's $4,000. You're gonna build it yourself. What's up, Nerf? How are you, man? Okay, here we go. Popping our, popping our, I was gonna, I'm gonna pop some tags. Only got $20 in my pocket. Okay.
There we go. <clears throat> no, Riddick, we, uh, I, ended, I, ended up, I ended up judging the Intel uh, creator challenge today. So I wasn't able to do uh, Amazon today. So, so you haven't missed it. You slept through part of my build though today though. You remember that? You remember that Riddick? <laughs> That's awesome, Mihai, congratulations. No, the fans, unfortunately, on this one are not daisy-chained. Only the AER ones are that are on the AIO. The rest of them are, unfortunately, not daisy-chained. Oh, shoot. That, like, little clip came on loose. So long ago. So long ago, dude. Luckily, I don't need that cable, but, I mean, it sucks that we got a broken... Okay, let's start getting our cables here. <clears throat> First ones is our Uh, I don't think I get a notification, not that I know of, um, but I, I'm, I actually don't, I actually have no idea. But thank you for doing that, Mihai. Should I get it? You think I should get a notification? Yeah, well... I don't think they're out yet. I don't know when they come out, but when they come out, we will definitely be testing them. I was like looking for my clippers. Well, my clippers, and my clippers. Okay, we're getting there. Next up, CPU cable. Like a little plastic piece broke off. Luckily you don't need it. Now I'm gonna do Almost done, almost there. Stay on target, almost there. Stop riding me, ah! Okay, now we, all we have is this. Just gotta go right here. Okay. 
There we go. Who doesn't? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I like Top Gear as well. Okay, cables bundled, case is done. There we go, guys. There you go, there's your cable management right there, nice and clean. And then the best thing about it, all we have to do is do this. You don't even see any of the cables. It looks clean from this way too. Uh, you can do a 13.6, 13.7, 76, or 77 with a 40.70 Ti. And you can even go higher if you wanted to, but those are good pairing combinations if you already have the GPU. I think spinning above that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And the other thing too is, guys, just so you guys know, if you have questions, you can always jump into our Discord. We got people like Bmock or Chaos, uh, Maiden, uh, we got Tom, we got all sorts of people who can help you answer those questions too. Yes, yeah, tons of people are in there, all who are very knowledgeable. Okay, so what did you guys think? Cable management looks good, right? Nice and clean build. Ugh. It's now heavy. go. I'm glad you like it. Okay, so before we turn it on, let's put it off to the side. Let's do our deals and uh, go through our, do our deals and then we'll uh, turn it on and test it and all that sort of stuff. So you guys are close. You guys got to hold a little longer so you can go through our sponsor and all that stuff real quick. You guys will survive. At first I was afraid I was petrified because I had to listen to Roby talk about his person who sponsored the build. I waited so many nights to see this NZXT H9 turned on, but I was wrong. I wanted to do nothing but carry on, so I, I talked about my deals. And Thomas was happy because he did, and people got to see the work he did. Classic bait and switch, guys. Okay. Let's bring it up. Close that, close that, close that. Okay, let me make sure I've got, ooh, I forgot to put my, grab my connector. 
This is the one I need. No, I need this one. Okay. All right, let me just make sure before I turn this thing on that we don't have the stupid HDR on because it was so bright. doesn't actually show it doesn't actually show HDR being on It's not on, but we'll see. It's really oh, that doesn't look on. Hey, that looks good. That looks right. Okay, hey, we are we are good. Okay, so we don't have we don't have uh, we don't have uh, HDR on. That's always a good thing. I like it. I like it when things work for the better, the better, uh, the betterment of humanity. Wouldn't you agree? Thank you, Blondie, for posting that. Yes, if you could take a moment to go and look at the H9 Elite video, we just launched a brand new series on that. Would love to have people watch that. Let me know what you think, because that is a new one for us, and we want to make sure that we're... Uh, we're, uh, we're making the content you guys enjoy, so please go give it a watch. It would mean a lot to me. Okay, so you get finished building a PC, you know, like this one right here. You're like, hey, I need to install Windows, like me, I did, or uh, like uh, we just had somebody do. And they're like, they're like, hey, so yeah, have you checked out vip.cdkdeals.com? Because, uh, you know, we're going to go ahead and pick up a copy of Windows. So we'll go pop here. Let's see how much a copy of Windows is. So let's do a search here for Windows 11. So Windows 11 is $209.67. But if you pick it up at vip.cdkdeals.com, you can actually pick it up for $31.60. But if you hit buy now and you use my amazing code, like somebody just did, use RBCK at checkout, what was $31.60 is now only $22.12, which is a significantly, significantly less amount of money uh, than what you would pay uh, if you went to like, if you ordered it from uh, the Microsoft store. What about Office or Microsoft 365 as it's called now? So here's Office 2021, regularly $198.94. But if you, and now on sale, $76.42, but same thing, hit buy now. Use code RBCK, hit apply. What was $76.42 is now only $53.49. So again, significant reduction. You now can get Office. Uh, they also have game keys and other things. I don't know if my codes actually work on that, but a very inexpensive way to pick up uh, you know, a copy of Windows, a copy of Office. We've literally had thousands and thousands and thousands of people who've used this site to pick up their copies of Windows so you can get rid of that pesky activate now uh, for much less money. Um, yeah, so just remember, use code RBCK at checkout for your additional uh, money off, and it's pretty straightforward. <clears throat> 
That's actually, so Jeffrey Beckham says that's a crime. It's actually not true. We've actually confirmed with Microsoft they are legit copies of Windows. Uh, they verified their purchase orders with them and they are not gray market. So uh, Jeffrey, you can go check it out. We actually did a whole test on them and stuff like that. And I actually worked for Microsoft for 20 years. So <clears throat> I saw the NTXT case on my 1440. What cameras are you using? These are, they're all... Uh, um, the links are in the, the video info, Cho, if you want to go do it. It's a crime not to buy it. That's true. Hey, Ricari's here. 19, 20? Jeez, that's it. Wow. I thought you were a real supporter, Ricari. Okay, so we have that. The other thing I want to talk to you guys about is robitech.com. So, uh, and two other things are Robitech deals. Now, Robitech deals on Twitter. Uh, I know that the holidays are over, but if you're, you know, as we've talked about uh, availability and stuff like that, uh, or if you're looking for, you know, when stuff when stuff comes in stock or anything like that, you should definitely follow Roby Tech Deals on Twitter. Um, he is literally searching the internet every single day for great deals on all of your PC components. So if you're looking for if you're looking to buy a PC in the next three to six months, even longer than that, it's a great place to go and get deals. Uh, versus waiting for me to talk about them here on the show. The other thing we're checking out is robitech.com where uh, we also have things like the build. So if you're like, hey, I really love this NZXT build, you can basically find all of the links and all of the parts right here. So if you like something and you just want to purchase it, all of the parts are here. And of course, everything goes towards supporting us. And this is all of our stream builds, including the frag box and all that other stuff. But let's take a look at deals. See what he's got here. Okay, so stream deals. Corsair Vengeance RGB, uh, their, this is their court, their AMD, uh, their AMD uh, RAM. So DDR4 3600, so great for your 5800 XT. Uh, 2x16 for $114.99. That's great for Corsair RAM. That's pretty pricey usually. Uh, the WD Black 2 terabit SN850X. This is their fastest NVMe SSD, two terabytes. Uh, this is perfect for your PlayStation 5. Uh, on sale, $169.99. Uh, it's a 7,300 megabits per second. Uh, XFX Speedster, this is the RTX uh, RX 6700 XT, which is your equivalent of a 3070, if not close to a 3080 at times. Uh, right now on sale, $389.99. That is a ridiculous price. Uh, Antec Dark League Legend DF700 Flux. Love the airflow in this case. Uh, great for everything, minus the 13900 KS. Uh, it's on sale right now, $99.99 with that promo code over at Newegg. Uh, you should go check out my review on that if you want to know more about it. The Amp Series, 750 watt, 850 plus gold. Power supply, $99.99 for $20, after a $20 rebate. A couple of people were asking, hey, for a 6700 and a 5800X, this is a great PSU uh, to combine with that. And then the tough 15.6 inch gaming laptop, this is an i5 with a 3050 uh, a 512 SSD. Uh, we actually have a review on this. You can double the RAM. It actually performs very, very well. So if you're looking for a great entry level laptop, you can spend an extra 150 bucks and double the performance of this laptop. So it's a great entry level gaming laptop uh, if you're looking for something um, in that price range. So I would say the SN850X, uh, the Swift 309 are my two favorite deals right here with the tough if you're looking for a laptop option. So uh, that is it uh, for deals. Good job, Tom. Tom did good. Everybody say good job, Tom. And everybody say bad job, Ricari, for not being so supportive. I'm just kidding. 20 months is a long time, my friend. <clears throat> yeah, I just bought the RAM. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. And remember, we cover those Tom. We, if you follow Roby Tech Deals on Twitter, he finds this stuff all the time. So I know people love to have me hype it up and all that sort of stuff. But if you don't want to wait, uh, you can always just follow him there. It's a really good place uh, to go and get deals and stuff like that. So Tom does, Tom does really good work. Okay, now is the time, guys. The deals are done, the sponsor's done, America's done, the ICC is done. Let's do our, let's count our, our even odd uh, uh, zip ties and then we'll turn our build on and see how it does. So here we go, even or odd guys, even or odd. One, two, three, four, five, there's 10. One, two, three, Four, five, there's, oh, sorry, there's five, there's 10, 11. That's it, that's a very small amount, 11, 11 zip ties today. 11 zip ties for odd. I bet it's a number, good job, Better Moxman. 11 is our winner today. Odd, like Blondie, odd. 
Wait, Blondie's not on. Congratulations to all our winners. Odd is the word. Can we do unreal numbers like negative i? Can we do, can we? It's negative i. Three i. Count it, you're so close. Of course you are, Blondie, and that's what I love about you. It's the square root of pi. Next time, we're gonna do everything based on chaos theory. Chaos theory. Okay, here is our build, ladies and gentlemen. Ugh. You guys ready? The question is, for the show, will it post? Will it post? That is the question. Put your bets in. Will it post? We will know soon enough. As I plug it all in and get ready. It's like Monday Night Football here, but PC building. It's almost exactly the same thing. The BIOS is current, yes. It's a B650, so yes, it's very current. Okay. Let's go to mood mode. Go into mood mode here. You guys ready? And boom, and boom. Oh, that's that fan doing that thing again. Which fan? There's a fan hitting something. It's that fan. What are you hitting? I'm trying to see what that fan is hitting. That's annoying. There's some fan hitting something. It is posting though, by the way, guys. Oh, oh, we got a peel right here. Ooh, boom. That was a pretty peel. Then we got a peel right here. I don't know what that is hitting. I wonder if the like the cable look it looks like the fan is off of its angle, off of its axis. Or maybe there's something on the fan. But there's not it's not hitting anything else, it's just hitting something. It's literally the most annoying sound. Just checking to see if there's anything on the edge or something like that that we're not seeing. There you go, fix it. Okay, fix the fan. Okay, let's put some, oh, so by the way, it does post. There it is right there, it is posted. Oh, well, except for it didn't show up in the game capture, which is weird. Oh, we, I know why, because I gotta, uh, I gotta uh, mirror it. Okay, so here's the side view, so you guys can just get a little bit of love on it. It looks so good. This build always looks so good.
Okay, so now you guys should see it. There it is right there, posted and good to go. So it is posted and we have everything set up to do it. Let's go ahead and mirror it real quick. Okay, and so we have everything good. Everything is set up, we're already ready to go. Okay, so we actually have everything good to go. It is ready. It is ready. Let's go ahead and do our peel. Yeah, a bat matters. That's stuff that Braythorn wants me to work on. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna do this peel real quick. There we go. And we got one more peel here. I think like there's, I think there's some, I checked, I think there's a little bit of stuff on the bottom of this one. There we go. Uh, that's called idle temps of 7,000 series. That's just what they do. Okay, come on. There we go. Okay, here we go. Go to side view. Verify that's what you can see. Okay, there we go. Boom, look at that. Extra shiny. Pull this off. Boom, there it is guys. Okay, so let's check temps real quick. See what this is like under load. There we go. Okay, temps under load. You gotta get a keyboard. So we'll see how much better this is than the Elite. Because I have the Elite numbers too. Okay, here we go. Let's open a Cinevent, shoops. Hardware info monitor. So our package temp right now is 45. That's pretty typical for a build of this caliber. Um, let us just make sure though, so open up cam, not camera, cam. Go to cooling. We're at, everything's on performance, okay, just making sure. And then I'm not worried about these, I care about more about those. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go 10 minutes and let's see what this thing does. And then I, while I'm letting it run,
So you're actually seeing the Cinebench score. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna move here, I'll move this, sorry. There you go. So you can actually see the Cinebench score is actually higher than it was in the other Cinebench score you're seeing right there is actually in the H9 Elite. So we actually are getting better performance out of the flow. Package temperatures are in the 90s, but remember this is a 7900X, that's not abnormal. That's, that's, uh, let's take a look at what the Elite was. It's a better air-cooled 011. Where is our... Come on. There it is. Robitech, performance reviews, case. Okay, let's take a look here. Okay, so average temp for the Elite. Under load for CPU. Oh, you didn't put it in here. Uh, it looks, oh, there it is, 92. So it was 92 in the Elite. Average. This is running 90. So it's a it's about a one degree difference between the elite and the flow. So in terms of temperatures between the 7900X. Yeah, I think we're I don't think well like it's, it looks like it's a one and a half one one and a half degree difference between the flow and the elite. Thank you for the five gifted subs, Riddick. The temps are fine. Yeah, the temps are fine. For a 7900X, the temps are perfectly fine. It's just telling you if people are like, well, should I get the flow or the elite? It looks like the temp difference is about a degree and a half. So it's actually not that big of a difference between the two cases. Now understand where you would see improvements in the flow is obviously if you're talking about air cooling, uh, because you could have air pulled down from the top versus in the Elite, doing air cooling in the Elite would be hard. But I think, honestly, if you really like the look of the Elite, you could. But the Elite is $100 more expensive. So Sid Reed, the reason that temps are like this is because AMD, specifically Ryzen, basically tries to run their, their, temp, their CPUs at near TJ Maxx to give you the max performance. So it's, um, it's specifically AMD trying to get you, so it's a little bit harder to measure how good AIOs are versus when you look at Cinebench scores. So here's a, here's a great example of how you're seeing the difference here. So we're running a 10 minute test. Do you see how this Cinebench score right here is actually higher than this, the one that we're seeing is higher than this one? This is also an idea of how much the cooling does actually affect the overall performance of the CPU. So actually the best way to know if your cooling is improved is to go and run Cinebench between the two. And you'll see that even though it's a degree and a half, the overall performance, you're actually seeing what? 28 over, you're seeing almost a 600 point difference in Cinebench right now. Now we have to wait until the last run to really know what it is, but a 600 point difference in Cinebench is quite big is quite good. So the fan, Ron, Ron Core, the fans don't run, the fans are all controlled by a hub. They're not controlled by any, uh, no fan, there's no fan, it's not controlled by a fan header on the motherboard at all. Uh, sorry, T, yeah, T, TJ, uh, oh dang it, I forgot the word. I, I, I keep calling it TJ Maxx, but it's not TJ Maxx. What's the right term, Org? 
I just, my mind just went blank. Uh, it's uh, the fans are not. Yeah, there's no fan numbers that I. It, it, the fan, all the fans that are on here are not. There's nothing connected to them. No, 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 no. There's a term for when a CPU is running at its max temperature. It's thermal junction max. Yeah, TJ Max. Yeah, TJ Max. I'm right. Thermal junction max. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Fragbox got 40k. Yes, this is a significantly more power. The 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 13900k uh, runs this runs around in circles in Cinebench. Thermal Junction Max. So yeah, this is like, you are still seeing, yeah. And that's where, that's what causes the, thr that's what causes the throttling. It did get up to 92 though, but again, you're still seeing between these runs, it's still a 630 point difference between the Elite and the Flow. So yeah, there you go. That is the build. We'll let it run for the last two minutes and 29 seconds, but why don't we do our two, why don't we do our two Newegg gift card giveaways? Cause we got those done. So let's do our two Newegg gift card giveaways and then we'll finish up and see where it actually ends up at the end. Okay, so all widgets, uh, CloudBot, giveaways. Custom. Okay, exclamation point new egg now, exclamation point new egg now. Starting our $25 new egg gift card right now. Two winners being drawn. Two winners being drawn, guys. Oh, there's YouTube. Okay, YouTube's working. One minute, 15 seconds left, guys. Thirty seconds left, guys. And this gap is closing a little bit. So it ended at 92. Okay, congratulations to Logic Snow and Algun Avex. Algun Avex. Dr. Seps, thank you for the resub. 20 months. No more entries, you guys. And there it is. Okay, so it looks like we actually saw a, yeah, almost. 600 point difference between the Elite 
uh, and the uh, flow. So actually, even though we saw a small thermal difference between the two, performance difference in terms of what the CPU itself was actually able to pull is actually better. So you're actually, that's the other thing too that's showing important. So you are actually, there actually is the uh, AIO is doing a better job of cooling in this case uh, versus the uh, NZXT Elite. And so you can see that there is actually a performance difference between the two uh, with those numbers, which is why we like to try and run those uh, for, uh, we like to run these uh, for you guys. So that is our build. You have, to, you have to admit, the case is pretty, right? It's pretty. It, you know, in terms of just overall, just how it looks aesthetically, it's very, very, I mean, it's a very clean build. Um, it, uh, it does actually have better air performance than the 011, uh, more air to basically pull through. Um, it is actually slightly more expensive than an 011 though. Um, and you know, again, the NZXT board looks nice and now they have an ATX 3.0 power supply. So it is a nice case. It is pretty, uh, it's cool to see that there's something like this, which is a big departure from NZXT. So huge shout out to them to sending us, uh, all four of the cases. We got all four of these. So we got, uh, four different options, uh, that we were able to check out. So huge shout out to them, huge shout out to Newegg and obviously to, uh, CDK deals. Uh, we are back on Saturday. We're going to do an actual Y40 in studio build. Cause I know you guys have been, yeah, that's right. And it's the SR71 Blackbird build. Uh, so top and bottom, no, uh, back and top, bottom are intake, top and back are exhaust. So, so we are back on, uh, we're back on Saturday for a height Y40 build. We're actually going to build one here in the studio so you guys can see that. Not entirely sure what I'm going to be putting inside of that net yet. Uh, we also have a couple commission builds next week and we're going to be building a Corsair 7000D build. Perfect for the 13900KS. We're going to show you how to cool that correctly and what kind of hardware you're going to need to be able to test that. So we'll have that plus an over the top uh, water cooled build specifically for that as well that we tested and used inside of the ice bar. Anyway, guys, that is it for tonight. Thank you for hanging out. Again, build went pretty smoothly. Uh, you know, nice three hours. Luckily, we did all that work beforehand. Super appreciate you guys. Uh, yes, I will build in that case too, the GT502. I need to reach out to them to get one of those so we can test that as well. Anyway, guys, have a great night and we will see you guys on Saturday. Bye guys.